Have you ever wondered what it's like to fly a Boeing 787 Dreamliner from Qatar Airways in economy to Dubai? So in this video we will see more of the beautiful city of Dubai. We see uh, what it's like to fly economy and what the service is like on board. And we see some very nice planes along the way. As well as a layover in Doha which is a beautiful airport. So my journey started right here, in the Netherlands. Right now I'm on my way to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport for my flight to Doha. So some fun facts about Schiphol Airport. It's actually one of the busiest airports of Europe and Schiphol has one of the highest probability to find a nice wide body airliner such as the Airbus A380 or the Boeing 747. So after an easy check-in, it was now time to check out what Schiphol Airport has to offer. As you can see, you have a very good view on air side and therefore Schiphol Airport is pretty nice to check out some airplanes. And there's even a full panoramic terrace on the top of the building. And there are lots of places to just chill out and sit and relax. And there's even a miniature version of the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, which shows you all kind of art and literature from the Netherlands. And of course, there are a lot of duty-free shopping at Schiphol as well. Uh, here we have a super cool sub blue. I don't know what it is. It looks super nice. And of course, some Apple laptops. Uh, but you better not buy them because they're more expensive than in other shops. And there it is, the Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner from Qatar Airways with the GENX engines. Uh, this plane is one of the most high-tech planes ever built. And there is a cool video about the engineering about this plane from Real Engineering, which you can see in the pop-out banner right here. So Schiphol Airport is actually one of the nicest places to be if you want to do some plane spotting. And next to the very common 737 and A320s, you can also see a lot of wide body aircraft and the occasional very special 747 and A380 from Emirates. And here I actually spotted a very rare Boeing 747-400 freighter from Air Icelandic and it looks super cool in this livery. So after boarding the plane through the dead bridge, it was time to get in my seat. And this time it's 33 Hotel, which is not a window seat as you can see, but I've never been at an aisle seat before, so it's nice to give it a try. As you can see, the layout of the interior is pretty modern with a big touch screen in front of you. And uh, we have quite decent leg space as well. So after a short taxi drive, it was time to take off from Schiphol Airport in this typical Dutch weather. So and right now it is time to check out whether economy is nice in the Qatar Airways 787. So right after takeoff we got served with a variety of drinks and after the 2 hour mark we got the choice of a nice pasta or some beef with rice and it was actually quite delicious to be honest. So around sunset it was time to get some nice shots from the plane and actually above Turkey I asked the person um, in the window seats to make some shots and look at this it just looks amazing it is very nice. So the Oryx in-flight entertainment system from Qatar is actually really nice you have 4000 choices of documentaries series and movies to watch along the way. And also they have very nice in-flight data as you can see right here on the responsive touch screen. So after landing we got on a bus to get a nice tour of the Doha Hamad International Airport and this is quite the airport. It is huge and 
next to a variety of Qatar Airways planes like the 787, the 777, but also the A380. You just have a lot to look at here. And so now a bit more about Doha Airport. So this is a very new airport with a lot of shopping facilities and you have a green garden inside the airport. It is huge and very nice. But at the time of my flight, the Maha Lounge was too crowded and too packed to go into for me. So I decided to just uh, get a place to sleep uh, somewhere around the airport. And the next day we continued our journey to Dubai. So if you go to Doha Airport for a stopover, then be prepared to have a long bus ride ahead of you. Bus rides of 15 to 20 minutes are no exception as this airport is very big. Uh, the bus rides are uh, quite fun though because you can see a lot of the airport and uh, they are actually building a lot of uh, new infrastructure there too. Um, my trip to the Boeing 777 took about 20 minutes. So the flight from Doha to Dubai only takes around one hour, but still we got served a nice breakfast with some pastry and some orange juice. And these are the nice views from the window seat. With our final approach into Dubai International, we already saw the amazing skyline of this city. Welcome to Dubai, the place of the tallest building in the world and also the place where you can find the biggest aircraft in the world, the Airbus A380. And there are plenty of A380s right here, all from Emirates, but it's just a very nice thing to see around here. So after we disembark the plane, it is time to move our way around Dubai International. And because it is such a huge airport, they have a dedicated train for this. So and that's it. We have arrived at our destination of the beautiful city of Dubai. The city with the tallest skyscrapers in the world from the biggest man-made island to the museum of the future. And of course, don't forget to check out a bit of heritage too with the classical center. And of course, a camel farm just outside of Dubai city. So what is it like to fly economy in Qatar Airways' Boeing 787 Dreamliner? Well, I have to say I'm impressed. From the quiet and spacious cabin to the stellar service and the nice food, it is just a nice place to be in for several hours. In comparison to Emirates, I think Emirates uh, has a bit better uh, service in terms of the food. You just get a bit more food served and it generally tastes a bit better. Uh, but all in all, it is quite comparable with the other uh, Emirates airline. So with that being said, thank you for watching and uh, this was my first airline review on my channel. So if you have any feedback, then please let, let me know in the uh, comments down below. Um, and I'm probably going to make 
uh, a couple of videos about Dubai as well. So if you like these videos, then please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Ciao.